Welcome to a new episode. Episode. Welcome to a new video idea. Welcome to Pinterest. Then then begera nothing misa. requested we are finally doing the Pinterest meals inspired video so in this video I will be doing breakfast lunch and dinner for breakfast we I'm going to do a French toast but right now it's already lunch time so tomorrow I'll be filming the breakfast and the editing you will see that it will be a whole nerd setup or I'll try to keep it the same outfit so you can have the same vibe but usually right now it's lunch time so tomorrow I'm going to film the breakfast meal and then in the editing I'll try to fix it make it look like it was the same day <laughs> fake it till you make it okay <laughs> so right now it's lunch and for lunch I'm going to make a smoothie bowl and this is going to be a caribbean vibe smoothie bowl so this smoothie bowl it's with a pineapple um peach and coconut so it's going to give like a pina colada vibe i guess so cross our fingers that this will be delicious and for dinner we will be having um, oven baked potato with Dijon mustard, honey Dijon mustard chicken. So I'm so excited to make this, especially dinner. It sounds so delicious. So, yeah, so let's start with a smoothie bowl for now. And then I'm going to hop out of the house. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to do something together. And then more in the afternoon, I'm going to meet dinner so let's start so of course we need a pineapple i have a full pineapple and i came up also with the idea that i'm going to cut this pineapple and the bottom part i'm just going to use it as a bowl so to make it more aesthetically pleasing and of course we need some frozen peach let me come close up frozen peach and coconut milk i'm using this brand and also it has no sugar which makes it more healthier and yes of course the pineapple and the purse um the peach already has their own taste so i don't think that i'm going to miss the sugar in the coconut milk so that's all we need and to top it off then we can use like a piece of pineapple if we want or put other fruits in it i have strawberry and also grapes so we will see what we're going to work with also you can just search on pinterest and see what other types of smoothie bowl you would like to try out but this is a super super simple recipe to make at home so you should try it and of course we need a blender but i have a chopper I don't have a blender, but I have a chopper, but it does the same shit, right? So, then tempigera, nothing misa, okay? <laughs> so, we're going to start with the pineapple. Don't judge me, by the way, that I'm going to cut my pineapple, okay? Don't judge, don't judge. Um, but I'm going to 
cut straight at the middle part so I can use the bottom part as a bowl. This is okay. We're getting there. Woo! Look at all that juice. And I think I'm just going to grab a spoon and then carve out the middle part of the pineapple so we can use it as a bowl, like a perfect small size bowl. And the top part, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm just going to put it on the side and then we will see what we're going to do with it. So yes, let's put it on the side and grab a towel. So I can put it on, yes, and then grab it. Yes, and I also grabbed a bowl because we have to put the pineapple in it. And I think just with the knife, I'm going to make like a circle. Oh my. How do they do this? <laughs> oh my gosh, juice is already getting all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. I'm struggling, okay? I'm struggling. <laughs> And this pineapple is so juicy, which is giving me more a Caribbean taste vibe. I love it. Your Caribbean cocoa girl. <laughs> okay. So we have to get the top off. If we can manage to get the top part off, then we are really more far away with the process and of course we have to tackle the middle part of the pineapple which i don't know how yet because you know about the middle part it's so hard and yeah we, we have to work around that for a minute Just is getting all over the place. Okay, this was not the best idea at all. How do I manage to get the middle part off? How? <laughs> Kids, don't try everything that you check on Pinterest <laughs> because it's not easy. <laughs> it's not. So this is going to be our bowl, our aesthetically pleasing bowl, <laughs> and we can throw this up. Okay, this is our famous blender for the day. <laughs> this is our blender, guys. This is our blender. I already washed it since last night, and the pineapple chunks are already very much chunked up so I'm going to try to yeah and then we're going to grab our frozen peaches okay. I think that this is enough Remember, it's a smooth bowl, so we have to, um, it has to be like a little bit thick of consistency. So before I put in my coconut milk, I'm going to chop it up and then you will see what we're going to work with. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay. So 
So this is what we have. Mm, smells tropical. <laughs> Let me come up close. So this is the consistency for now. So obviously it's a little bit chunk still yet. It's a little bit chunky yet. So I'm going to add my coconut milk and then we're going to chop it for a little bit more. I eyeball everything, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the coconut. Okay, so I think it's pretty much done. I still have a little bit of chunks, but I don't mind those because it's tick, 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 tick. tick. So let me grab. No, I got a spoon here, right? I'm going to taste it and see if I miss anything it's not bad it's not bad okay don't get me wrong it's not bad at all i think it's missing a little bit of sugar mm -hmm. but i'm trying to eat healthy so i won't be adding sugar so if you're going to make this Make sure to get a coconut milk with sugar so you won't feel like the effect of it. So, I don't know if this has like a, if it's going to pass through, I don't know, but okay, we're going to do what we have to do. Do you see the consistency? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's the consistency that we want. Okay. Let me get a close up. Do y'all can see? Yes, y'all can see. Okay. I think this is too much. Because, see? My pineapple bowl is full. I grabbed some grapes and also strawberry. I'm going to chop one chop not. I'm going to cut one strawberry and put like a few grapes just for the decoration and you know to make it a little bit more tasty. Remember to wash your strawberry, okay? I'm just going to grab one because it's a little bowl, it's not a big bowl. So So I got it like that, and then we're going to place everything nicely on our bowl. Like that. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing one, but it's going to taste the best. And just grab like a few grapes. I think four is more than enough. Wash your grapes. Wash your fruits and then I'm just going to top it off like so. I don't know how I'm going to fix everything. So. Okay, it's, it, it's not looking the most pleasing way, but ah, it's going to fall over. No, it's not. This is our smoothie bowl, our tropical Caribbean smoothie bowl with pineapple, peach, and coconut milk topped off with strawberry and the grapes.
Oh my gosh. It's so good. I think the strawberry and the grapes gives it, gives it a little bit more flavor. But the smoothie itself, it has a literally good flavor. It tastes pretty much like piña colada. If you're a fan of piña colada, you would love this bowl. If you want, you can also just use pineapple and coconut. Then it gives it more like a literally piña colada taste. Because the peach gives it a little bit more like... Mm, just a tropical, low-key pineapple taste. But... It's delicious. I love it. We are ready to make a dinner. So as I already mentioned, I'm going to make potato, oven baked potato wedges. Wedges, right? I don't know, I made my own thing in my head. But anyway, um, I'm just going to, I have the mini potatoes the baby potatoes so i'm going to cut these in half season them and put them in the oven and also right now i'm going to marinate my chicken because it has to sit like one to two hours i don't think that i'm going to leave it up to two hours i think one and a half hours is more than enough because i'm not really hungry right now so that will be perfect for me um and it's already 9 30. So, ciao. It's becoming a little bit late. But yes, it has. I have to marinate it first and let it sit for a bit so it can get its flavor. And then we'll proceed with the rest. So, right now we're going to do that. And then, after that, I'm just going to cut the potatoes. And yeah, we will see what the following procedure will be um i need honey dijon mustard paprika salt pepper apple cider vinegar anyway let me grab all those things before we continue <laughs> okay so we need salt pepper garlic um Honey, Dijon mustard. Yes, here I have all my seasonings. I'm not going to literally follow the receipt because I'm still on piano, so I want to get my own flavor and pop with my own ingredients. But the most basic things I have them. So the honey and the mustard. I'm going to show y'all. I think I also need olive oil, right? Yes, and olive oil. So, oh, apple cider vinegar. Inside with the bossy machine. And apple cider vinegar. So, we have everything that's basic, that's needed. Come in. Yes, we're going to work with what we have. So for seasoning, I'm going to use complete seasoning by Fabia. Consomme de pollo. Dijon mustard. Some honey. Black pepper, some garlic powder, salt, also a little bit of this seasoning. It's a chicken seasoning by Albertine. I think this gives the chicken so much taste. And olive oil and apple cider vinegar. So these are all the seasoning that we need to make this happen. Okay, so I'm going to mix everything first and then we're going to prepare the chicken to marinate everything. Okay, so I grabbed a bowl so I can mix everything in it and also I grabbed a teaspoon and two tablespoons because we need backup. <laughs> 
So let's check the recipe. Mm. I have my measuring cup, so for honey, I need one quarter cup of honey. So all of this, okay. That's a whole lot of honey. Not really though. <laughs> Not really though. But I'm going to use a spoon because, yeah. Wow, okay, ciao. This is going to be delicious. I can feel it already. Okay, so yeah, we filled that up. So we have our quarter cup of honey. Make sure to get every single bit of honey out. So this will be for the mustard. And we're going to get another spoon for the honey mustard. If this comes out delicious, this will be my main dish. <laughs> I swear, this will be my main dish. And I think I'm done with this, right? And then I'm going to proceed with the rest. All right. I need one teaspoon of paprika, but I don't have paprika. I don't have paprika. Two tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Ugh. But anyway. One. Two. And one tablespoon of olive oil. I'll be putting the whole recipe in my description box if y'all want me. So, I got you, okay? I got you. <laughs> okay, to be sincere, I eyeball everything. Okay, a little bit of complete seasoning. I don't like to... No, I eyeball everything. Pepper garlic a little bit of salt not much because the um the consomme and also this seasoning is a little bit salty already so i don't want it to make it super salty okay Yes, I think that's more than enough. And a little bit of consomme de pollo. Okay. It will be looking something like this. Yeah, do, do you can see it's a little bit dark, huh? Wait. So this is the consistency and we're going to mix everything. I'm trying to mix it in the camera so you can see what we're working with but one thing for sure it smells so good so this will definitely be a delicious 
recipe. Make sure to combine every ingredient. Perfect. So now that I mixed everything, I'm going to put this here, get rid of this, grab our chicken, clean it, and then we're going to marinate the chicken in the sauce, let it sit, and we will be proceeding with the baby potatoes. Okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Okay, so um, my storage went full. So that's why I didn't show you how I cleaned the chicken, but I cleaned the chicken, get rid of all the fat, and also. I let it sit for a few minutes with water, a little bit of water and lemon and uh, yes. So right now that it's fully marinated, I'm going to put some um, wrapping paper around it and let it sit for, a, for an hour in the fridge. See you later, alligator. <laughs> okay, so here I have some green beans and also the baby potatoes. Um, I washed the baby potatoes, but they're still in the water. Right now, I'm trying to... Okay, I'm going to show you what I use. So, to clean the potatoes, I use this thing. You usually use this to clean the dishes especially your pants and I'm just going to um, scrub the skin and get rid of all the dirt of the potato so that's how I clean it and the green beans I already cut the ends of it so it's already done so right now I'm just going to clean the potatoes get rid of all the dirt of the skin so we can then season it and proceed with it in the oven so yeah basically that's what I'm going to do with all the potatoes So my potatoes are done. I don't want to overcook them. I don't have a small pot, so that's why I use this big wok pan. But we gotta work with what we have. So they look very yes. I just can poke through them, so I'm just going to put everything on my foil. Right now, I'm just going to grab a pan and fry my green beans a little bit and then I'm going to season them with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of seasoning and then we will pop it in the oven, let it sit so we can 
where we'll be almost there the chicken is already also almost done with being marinated then we have to fry the chicken and I don't know if I'm going to also put the chicken a little bit in the oven but we will see we'll see what's about to happen next okay 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 we'll see what's about to happen hey hey we'll see what's about to happen hey We'll see what's about to happen. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I... Hey, yeah. I got one lawyer, got one in that dance. The only two, man. How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke? Swerving the pop holes. Not trying to fuck up the wheels or fuck up the deals. I'm posted this side. Home, it's me the house and the twins. It's only the real. I'm moving way too humble. Busy and handed it off. I still got no fumbles. I'm on a hot one hundo. No more uno. This one ain't come with a bundle. I'm in no band. A million of chocolate chips. And next time my cookie crumble. I put a skirt on the whip and a crown on the six. But there's no need to dress up the numbers. Hey, hey, yeah. But I guess they must have their reasons. They wanna know how I'm living my day to day life in the regular season. Well, summer all I did was rest. Okay, and New Year's all I did was stretch. Okay. Just added a little bit of garlic powder. Just for now. Okay, so now that the green beans are done, I'm just going to put it here. So now that we have everything here, I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it a little bit. Yes, like so. And then I'm going to use a little bit of complete seasoning. A little bit of garlic. Yes, and because I don't have paprika, I'm just going to use the seasoning of chicken. I bet it has paprika in it because it's a little bit spicy. So yeah, I'm just going to put that a little bit on the thing. Before we pop it in the oven, I just like to miss everything so everywhere can get a little bit of seasoning we will pop this in the oven let it bake for like 10 to 15 minutes and in the meantime that's going in the oven we're heading to our chicken that's been waiting for us for more than an hour so yeah just going to pop this in the oven and I'll meet you by the stove. been taking the pain away i heard you was giving your chain away that's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where the owners do a boss is a road that i've grown into i love you to death but i told you the truth i can't just be with you and only you yeah i got one virtual got one in that day the only two man how many times have i shown it bro? okay dinner is served it's looking like fancy dinner at coco <laughs> It's giving me pretty much fancy dinner with cocoa. I love it. Oh, by the way, I don't have champagne, so 
this is just icy but you know amazing um okay we're going to dig in and i'm going to tell y'all how this tastes this is my first time eating honey dijon mustard chicken and with oven baked potato and green beans so yeah, cute. Mm. okay the potato is giving me pretty much everything already let's taste the chicken This is so scrum delicious, so damn good. Oh my god. It's giving me balance. It's giving me luxury dinner. It's giving me juicy. It's giving me tasty it's giving me delicatess it's giving me pretty much everything it's a must try it's a must try and also i did put my own taste in it so i will be putting my own recipe in the description box because yeah per <laughs> per per okay per period period Okay, so I'm just going to the end. Enjoy the rest of my dinner, and then I'll meet y'all in the morning to make our breakfast, which is going to be our French toast. Bye bye. Do you really want someone like me? Do you really want someone like me? Good morning. It's not even morning, but we're going to make it morning. <laughs> Still, I managed to wake up late, so yeah, but still, this is going to be our morning, our breakfast, Pinterest meal, dish, whatever you want to call it. So, for today, we're going to make a French toast stick, and uh, never I tried French toast, so this will be my first time trying a French toast. And I found this recipe on Pinterest and it looks so delicious. So we're going to try to make this possible. So firstly, we need some bread, of course. We need some butter. We need, I think, two, how many eggs? I think one. Yeah, I think one is more than enough because it's only me. So one egg. Um, milk. They say to use whole milk, but I don't um, use whole milk. I only use oat milk or coconut milk. And I think the best option is to go with oat milk. So oat milk it is. Um, ground cinnamon. Let me grab that real quick. And I think that's it, right? Oh, white granulated sugar or powdered sugar. It's up to you. Oh, we need sugar. What? 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 I'm gonna forget about that. Also, sugar and powdered sugar just for decoration and if you want you can use also maple syrup and some fruits for decoration but in my case i'm just going to add fruits and a little bit of jam because i think that jam will be the perfect combo for this this is all we need 
let me get a close up of all my ingredients and also I will be linking the recipe in my description box so look up for that Firstly, we're going to start by cutting the bread in sticks. Um, let me grab a knife. Alrighty. Does everyone does this? Like, being black, you know that you're going to skip the first part of the bread, right? But anyway, I skipped two. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab, I think, like two, depending on how many I get. I'll see if I'll make more. But firstly, we have to cut the edges off. So I'm just going to do like this. I think she cut the edges off. Let me see for sure. I don't know, people. I don't know. She has like the crust on it, but not too much. Okay, anyway. We're going to make one with crust and one without crust then. And we're going to be the judges of what tasted better okay i think this will be more than enough like yeah i think this will be more than enough let me get some footages for my insta also because i'm hassling tasseling here and there also for my insta babies and yeah then you will proceed let me put this on the side here 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 i guess let me see if y'all can clearly see what i'm doing Yes, you can see. <laughs> so I got a bowl. I need my egg. I need one egg. Grounded cinnamon. Um, my milk also. And I think that's it. That's the three things that I need for now, right? Let's check again the recipe. In a medium sized bowl, whisk together egg, milk, powdered sugar, maple syrup. I don't have maple syrup, ma'am, and ground cinnamon, so we're going to do it our own way. Okay, I have powdered sugar, so let me add powdered sugar there. This is going to be really sweet. I can feel it already. I can feel it. Eh? Woo! I think... How many... It doesn't state how many of the milk do I need. Let's check for sure. A quarter cup of milk is more than enough. If we have, if we need more, then we know that we use a quarter cup of milk and one egg. Because I don't have too much slices, so. Yeah. There we go, baby. Powdered sugar, she also doesn't state how many of the powdered sugar we need. So I'm just going to like apply this. I'm just going to put a little bit. I think there's more than enough. And ground cinnamon. Who else loves them some cinnamon? Ooh, 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 okay, that's too much. That's too much. So this is how everything is looking. <laughs> and let me grab my whisk so we can whisk everything. Mmm, smells like oatmeal, papa quaker. <laughs> Dump your bread in it. Dump that shit. Dump that shit, baby. Should I put this one by one? Because it's already soaking in there. Let me grab something. It's already soaking in there. It looks a little bit ugh right now. But yeah, let me start by heating my pan. And I bet y'all can see me in the back. Can you see me? Yes, I'm really in the back. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter. Let me raise the camera a little bit so you can see me better. 
Yes, I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on my pan so it can start heating up and then we're going to put the um, the sticks on the heat. Okay, add the sticks carefully so they won't break. I think I added too much water. Oh my, I'm making such a mess. Okay, that went perfectly. I'm trying that nature. No disrespect, baby. Just try me smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay down. Try to keep your spirits up. Little vodka, whatever. Took it forever to get dressed. I acknowledge your effort. So I clap for she deserves an applause. Shawty working so hard. She deserves having song. Shawty waiting on what's on. Racing through my mind like she heard that. I got that work. I heard that she been on strike. Can't to tell. I need your mind. She been on them dollars first. Caramel. Macchiatos. With Shawty getting the work. I can be your good friend. Be your nigga. Or a grand with perks. I'm just trying to work that. They just trying to work your nerves. I'm just trying to read your mind. I'm just trying to feed you mine. I'm just trying to give you like They just trying to Since sis on the recipe isn't very specific with the recipe, I'm just going to make the next steps as my own. <laughs> my own damn way. She made a mixture of granulated sugar, white granulated sugar, which I'm going to grab right now, and my cinnamon. And I'm just going to mix a mixture just like churros. So I think I'm just going to add like two tablespoons of sugar or no three let me make it three three and a little bit of cinnamon I guess this will be like two teaspoons of cinnamon and we're going to mix everything And right now, I'm just going to dip everything in. Prompt it on our toast, like so. Ah, it's looking super aesthetic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. I'm a Pinterest Betty, that's for sure. Okay, okay. I'm finessing everything here. Okay, and a little bit of jam. I'm just going to put it on the sides. I have strawberry jam, but you can use another type of jam if you want. Just a little tiny bit like that. I think it's not enough. And to top it off, I'm going to add a little bit of um, poly sugar. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is our French churro stick toast edition. Slow bomb, let me get your favorite fragrance. You got that bomb. I'm trying that in nature. No disrespect, baby. Just try me. Smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lay down. Try to keep your spirits up. 
Okie dokie, it's time to dig in. Okay, I'm so excited to try this. So let's see. Okay, let's test the French toast by itself. Mm. Okay. I'm not really a fan of it. Oh, this excitement for what? It's too soggy. I don't like it. Okay, let's try one with the crust. Maybe it will taste better. Okay, let's grab a little piece of this one. With a little bit of jam because <laughs> because amazing like the, the the aha moment here. Okay, so so all the hype for nothing. This doesn't taste anything good. Maybe I didn't make it good, or it had to be with whole milk or I'm missing something in the recipe I don't know but the only thing delicious here is the jam and the strawberry but the toast itself is not giving me very much anything it's too soggy I think it's more on the soggy side I don't like it it looks very dense it looks very dry but the middle part isn't dry at all. It's too chapa chapa, too soggy. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm enjoying more the strawberry, so I'm going to enjoy the strawberry and make bread or anything else for me to eat because I'm not going to eat this. It's not delicious. Sorry. All the hype for nothing. I don't. I don't know. Like nah ah 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 ah. Mm mm. I'm very disappointed. This is my first ecstatic repetition meal that I made in this video that I don't like. My dinner was perfect, amazing. My lunch, amazing. But this French toast, nah, it wasn't worth the whole hype at all. If you like this, if you like this, um, let me know in the comment section below if I should do more, then and maybe I'll do this like once a month let me know let me know if you enjoy watching me making pinterest meals and if you want more also let me know in the comments below and i'll make more footage of this type don't forget to comment share like subscribe whatever you want to do with it so we can get back on the algorithm of YouTube. I'll see you, Coco Bam. Ciao, we talk. Mwah. Not your effort. So I clap for. She deserves an applause. Shawty working so hard. She deserves have a song. Shawty waiting on what song. Racing through my mind like she heard that. I got that work. I heard that she been on strike. Can't tell. I read your mind. She been on the palace first. Caramel. Hockey out.